Hey, my name's uh, Jeff Shrill. This is an alternative World War II battle. Uh, a little twist on it, with uh, mechs being the primary uh, battle equipment used. Um, U.S. side, we got some of the lights here. The, this is the GP4 Roadrunner. We go into the GP1 uh, Blackjack. And then the monster in the back here, which is the GP5 Bulldog. Um, support equipment in the back with a um, uh, couple half, a half track, and even though it's a, just an M3 light, it's just there to, uh, to ward off any uh, oncoming troops. Um, going to the German side, these are the new mechs. This is the German light. I'm still trying to come up with a name for him. And this is the brand new um, uh, medium German uh, mech. Again, uh, still haven't come up with a name for him. Uh, again, German side, light tank just uh, for support. We have an uh, anti-tank gun or anti-mech gun. Uh, again, German half-track and then some support. Taking in some uh, British special ops uh, prisoners. Um, the whole concept is, like I said, just an uh, alternative World War II battle. If, if, if the technology was there, they, they could have probably done this. Um, and just having a lot of fun and did it with my son Garrett uh, helped out with a lot of the detail and uh, concept and ideas and we just just had a real good time with this um, it's my first uh, diorama um, my first battle scene and a lot of inspiration out there to, uh, to help pull this together on Flickr and that with the mechs the mechs is the you know probably the primary idea uh, I got into Lego when my son got uh, got back into Lego when my son was three, and with through Brick Arms he had a uh, mech contest with uh, uh, the GP uh, GP1 Blackjack, and it's proud enough to win first place with that, and it just really spawned from there, and big heads heads out to Will on uh, the inspiration with all the Brick Arms and that really. Uh, really push this as far as my you know passion for mechs and things like that and my passion for World War II and being able to mix them uh, really turned out really well. What was the most challenging part of putting this all together? Um, you know the, the the battle scene itself you know being the stuff that's destroyed I find it a lot easier to do I'm not an architect guy and to come in here and actually have the stuff destroyed it made it a lot easier for me uh, that's the the architect is actually what I have a hardest time with. Um, I'm a very uh, mechanically inclined, and I when I build these mechs, I want to make them like they would work. You know, the mechanics are there, the, the even right down to the toes and the feet and the hydraulics, and you could really see that uh, that they would work. And that's that's actually that's what I enjoy most about it. And, it, and as I go, it's uh, it's been easier and. Uh, a lot of fun is coming up with all the different uh, concepts as far as what Lego offers as far as um, parts and technic and and the mix of technic and the standard bricks and whatnot. I'll give a shout out to myself. The detail is the uh, is the stickers I got going out. Um, the Cooper Works stickers. Um, the, the mech we have here, the German mech. That's all just vinyl, and it's the custom uh, custom stickers that we make. And I think it just really pulls to take a mech or anything and just be a standard gray. You know, you can have a really good mock, but to throw the stickers on there and to throw a camo on there just takes it to a whole new level. And it really pulls, really gives the, the model, you know, whether it's a standalone or if it's in a diorama, it just really brings a lot of life to it. Um, they all have uh, my stickers on there from, from just rivets to the the markings to panels and like I said it just brings a lot of life to the to the even the individual piece